Folks, this is my long time and good friend Chris Peebles. How long have I known you, Chris? Um, at least 10 years, probably longer, longer than that. Longer than 10 years, because yeah. this is 2016, 10 years would be 2006. Oh no, a lot longer so than it's, that. Right, so it's been about 20. Yep. 20, 23 years. Something like that. 23 years, wow. Over that time, Chris has been, tell them all that you've been, you've been head of panel, or, well, no. Well, I, I was always very active in neighborhood group movement. I, I've been everything at panel. I've been the chair, I've been the Oh, and tell my, new, my viewers what panel stands for. Panel is the Piedmont Avenue Neighborhood Improvement. Of Oakland. It's of, of Oakland. It's the residential group around Piedmont Avenue in Oakland. PAMA is the Merchants Association. Panel is the residential group. And over the years, it's fluctuated. Some years, it's more interested in zoning and development. Some years, it's more interested in, in crime prevention and all that stuff. Uh, we spun off a group that supports the, the local elementary school. We've done a lot of that stuff. Um, and for a while, there was a pretty broad group of neighborhood groups that all came together in the neighborhood newsletter task force met at the public library and really get, had a chance to, to trade information and trade tips and trade all kinds of stuff throughout the whole the whole city of Oakland. It was, it was really, for a while there, it was really quite remarkable. Yeah, um, that, that was the, the days of Jeanette Sherwin, right? Jeanette Sherwin, Sanjeev Honda, right. um, all those folks. Um, and they really, they really had a very major impact on politics in Oakland. Now, you're involved now in the AC Transit Board. Correct. And I've been involved in transportation for a very long time. I, I was always involved, I was involved in a couple of things. I've been involved in democratic politics forever. I mean, since I was a kid. I've been involved in some transportation issues for a very, again, for a very long time. Founded a couple of transportation groups. And in 97, uh, there was an opening on the AC Transit Board, and I was appointed by the board of directors. Mm -hmm. And then I had to run in 98, and then I, I've run again, and, and that was to finish out John Woodbury's term. Right, I remember him. Remember right. John? You, after me, mm -hmm. John was the administrative assistant for Mary Moore. Then he left, worked as a planner for Alameda for a while, then went to um, an open space group that tried to do uh, for the Bay Area parks mm -hmm. and open space what MTC does for transportation. Try to have all the fights internal and then have a united front in Sacramento or in Washington trying to, to get money for a package of things that have been put together. And then he went off, and he's still working up there. Um, he went to work for Napa County, mm -hmm. basically to set up the equivalent of the East Bay Regional Park System. Um, he worked for the county for a while, helped put together the parcel tax, mm -hmm. that put together a funding source, and now technically he works for that independent park district, but he gets paid through the county because they've got accounting and they've got health care and all that stuff. But he still lives up on John Street. Still lives about four blocks away from him. Tell my viewers, over the time that you are involved in the, have been to this date and still are involved as an AC Transit Board member, what you've been able to do that maybe they don't know about as they take the tra transit system? Well, we hope they know a little bit about it because we hope they're taking AZ Transit pretty regularly. Yeah. Um, our fortunes have gone up and down along with the economy. Fortunately, right now they're up, and since I'm up for election in November, having our fortunes yeah. up, it's a good idea. Oh, but I mean like a specific thing that you want people to notice, a specific initiative. Well, one, one of my main initiatives has been our fuel cell bus program. We have the largest fuel cell bus program in North America. Uh, we've got 13 fuel cell buses, and you see them riding around. They've got green tops and produce zero emission at the bus. And for about a quarter of the fuel we use, produce zero carbon well to wheel because we're making about 65 kilograms of hydrogen a day 
using solar cells. The pg e wheels on that power to Emeryville for us. Mm -hmm. In Emeryville, we use a proton electrolyzer and split up water. Water is H2O. You split it up, you let the oxygen float away, you compress the hydrogen, and then you use that to run the bus. Hey, so in our next video, we're going to talk about the 30th in Broadway issue. Can you give my viewers a brief preview? Because we're going to do that video right after this. Okay. Um, we often have issues with um, merchants and other folks being concerned about the location of bus stops. And because of some stuff Oakland did, we had to move a bus stop. And the local merchant got concerned, and we've been um, sort of arm wrestling with them now for a couple of years. And we'll see what will happen at the Public Works Committee next week. Okay, and that's going to be our second video, which will be linked after this one. Oh, we're at Waken Cafe enjoying uh, the California salad, right? California salad. That was, it was his Cal idea. California salad and, and root beer. And root beer. It was his idea, and a great idea at that. Okay, that's it.